Yo, big up yourselves and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. We want to get to 6K by the end of the year. We're at 5'7 now, so 300 more here. If you can hit that button, you would be a legend and I do appreciate it a lot. Also, leave a like and a little comment. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a board change, a couple of tests, show you through that, but the main reason for it is to see if you're having the same issues. So people are buying properties, they're not being tested. I don't know whether it's solicitors, estate agents, whoever. If you are a solicitor or an estate agent watching the video, which I very much doubt it, but if you are, let me know what the rules are regarding testing. If properties have to be tested, if they don't, I don't know, but we're coming across it more and more where people are buying the houses, coming in and it's a mess, basically. This one, I hope it's not too bad. It's just the fuse board, but I'll show it you in a minute. It's atrocious. And how a surveyor can look at it and say it's safe, I do not know. Whether they're looking or not. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, let's get the stuff in and run that thing. So guys, picture this. You've bought the house. That's in the corner of the room. Did an inspector take it off? I very much doubt it because, da, 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 da. look at that. That is horrendous, isn't it? Look how they've cut the, cut the lid to get the breaker in. I've just had a boo-boo in the van. Cut the lid to get the breaker in. It's horrific, isn't it? So what we're going to do is start by taking this off, take the fuse board lid off, and have a look at the wiring, give it a quick test, and then see where we go from there. So boxing's off, covers off, does not look too bad to be fair, the wiring doesn't. Bit of a shame, there's one coming in here, but I'll have to just wiggle it about and see what I can do. But look at this that they've done. Oh my God. They've even snapped the heads off the breakers so they fit in. That really is rough. Which comes back to my point. That clearly hasn't been tested, has it? Or seen or anything because anyone who'd see that would see that it's dangerous with that hole in the front. So it clearly hasn't been, has it? Yeah, that's my point I'm making. Right, what I'm gonna do now, strip it all down and we're gonna do an insulation test on all the cables. Everything's unplugged, everything's turned off. So we're gonna test that now, check that they're all in within the limits. And then yeah, we'll take the ring readings and put the new board on. Nice. But before we do that, look at my new leads. Ooh. They're awesome, aren't they? They're from Mega, they're the new protest leads. And they are wicked. The strength on that is really good compared to the old ones anyway. So yeah, just thought I'd show you them quickly. Let's carry on. So with everything off, set the tester, 500 volt insulation test, tested all the cables and everything is minto. It's all greater than a thousand, so we're good to go. Good for the board change. We're gonna be fitting a fuse box board with RCBO's surge protection, all that ting. We're going to get that on the wall and then we'll do some tests. Just before I disconnect the ring, I'm going to be doing the end-to-end -end tests. You know how they're done. Live to live, neutral to neutral, earth to earth. Uh, continuity result in the box. Yeah, that's it really. So I'll get it stripped off now, get the new board prepped, get it up, get it on. And also we've got to be adding some spotlights in the bathroom today so we'll go through the customer what he wants and then we'll get them in as well mint so here's where we're at boards on and i've put the rcbo's in but i have had to move the main switch across to the left so i'll fill this up with blanks here which is a shame but the tails won't reach and i've got to leave the existing tails in because they're fed from a kmf outside so I'll get the ring tested now, get the results marked down, and then we'll start putting them away. The board's done, it's on. It's not the neatest board I've done. It's not a showpiece, but it's a lot safer than it was with those chopped out breakers. So yeah, that's done. I'm gonna go around, do the testing now. I've took the ring readings, ready. Just got the cert to do, and then we will jump upstairs and start the spots. Right, just quickly, I wanna show you the lights that we are gonna be fitting today and they are the F-Type Mark II from Laseco. I'll show you a few features before I chuck them up in the ceiling. So, nice viewing window, so you can see the connections without taking it all apart. Flip this up, push fit connectors. We've got live earth neutral, live earth neutral on there. 
and then we've got two switches on the side. So one switch, four watt or six watt brightness and then four color changing. So extra warm, warm, daylight and cool. Nice. So yeah, these are what we're gonna be fitting. These ones have got the white bezel. Again, they've got a magnetic, I think, oh no, twist off these are. So twist off the bezel and then you can put whichever colored bezel you want on there. But I've only got white, so white's going up. Nice. This is a, um, well, you're a job to be fair. They're having the bathroom done and I just said, why don't you have some spots? So now we're putting spots in, nice. The dimmable, here's the four color settings there. Yeah, they're dimmable, they're all this, if you wanna look through that. They've got five year warranty, 40,000 hours, 60 degree beam, beam angle, 30, 60, 90 minute fire rated and insulation cover, coverable. And they comply with part E which is acoustic regs. And they're IP65 rated, which is mint. So yeah, we're gonna get some of these up. Here is where the spots are going. So at the minute, we've got the center light, well, not center, but a light. And then our spots I've measured out, one's going here, another one here, and then two by the bath. So one that side, one this side. Where's the customer? Oh, I'll tell you where, in the loft. Moving all his stuff. Yeah, get it moved. <laughs> yeah, he's just making a little path for me so I can get down. So what I'm gonna do is take this light down. We're gonna put a connection on it. Wire out one, two, three, four spots and then get them connected up. Get them pushed up, get them set to the color he wants and then that's it, done. I've got a few more ZS's to take from around the house. So socket circuit, um, cooker shower. And then we out of here. We've got to fill it out in the cert. Get it registered, get the email address, get it sent off, mint. Ooh, look at the Michavi. So yeah, a bit of filling there for the customer, which he loves, so he'll get that sorted. They're nice lights. They are very nice lights. So these are on four watts, cool white. Like I say, there is the two wattage settings and the four colour settings. I won't be showing you them because I've already pushed the lights up. But you get it? There's a nice, really warm, well, extra warm, warm daylight. Cool white. These are cool. These look mint. Nice. <sighs> I wish you could smell in this van. I've literally just sat on my vape and it's been burning in my pocket. And it stinks. Luckily I found it because I could have died. That'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> could have died. Anyway, yeah, just a short and sweet video really. Basically I wanted to do that just to get your views on it and what you find with it. Are you getting the same problems where Families are forking out thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands on houses, and the things aren't being checked before they buy them. Where I don't know if it's the estate agents, like I say, or the solicitor's job to be demanding this, but it's not demanded enough, if you ask me. They do it for the gas, the gas you've got to have it tested, electrics, they just don't seem to be bothered, and at the end of the day, it's still dangerous, especially when people are paying that sort of money. I've been to an house not long ago, and they paid something like I don't know, six, seven hundred thousand for this house. All the electrics was off when they went in. Turned it on as soon as they'd moved in and it all just went bang. Uh, I've gone around to check it, looked, and everything in the kitchen was wired off the back of the kitchen cooker switch. So I had to disconnect it all the day they've bought it. Imagine spending that much money just because a solicitor or an estate agent hasn't chased up an electrical safety test. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, whether you have these problems or whether you think it should be tightened down because I do think this is a big deal, a massive deal. Might just be me. If it is, let me know. Leave a little like. Let me know what you think of those lights as well. I'm really happy with them. Really happy. I would be because I help develop them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah? We go to these little group meetings, discuss what we like, what we don't like. They're awesome. So check them out. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Big up yourselves. Like I say, if you haven't subscribed already, please do consider doing that because you would be doing us a solid one. Getting us up to 6k by Christmas would be fantastic. We've only got a month left. It probably won't happen now. Hopefully it does if you press that button. So thank you very much. Leave a little comment. Let me know what you think. Leave a like. See you later. Ta-ra.